Hey guys, I am back. Uh, I'm gonna do an unboxing on my my workbench where I do all my models and stuff. Uh, if you guys have checked out my other channel that I have, it's a small channel, but I, you know, my other passion I've talked about a few times is building models. I, I actually build them for museums. That my my stuff, pretty proud, is in museums around the country. Um, I built them for, you know, on base uh, in the military and just for fun. And I build them for collectors here and there. Um, mostly for fun, but anyway, you can check it out. It's called Air Force Builder. I'll put a link to the channel in the video description if you want to check it out. I try to mix in a little bit of, uh, you know, a little history with some of the projects, you know, so educational as well. But anyway, so yeah, you can check it out if you want, but that's not why we're here today. We're here because we have the Prep Box by PMP, as well as the Budget Blade Box, which uh, he always packs together when uh, if you subscribe to both you get both in like one package which is very convenient so here we go october 2018 here is last month's um onyx monthly knife club love this this has been a solid knife ever since i got it so that's what i'll use gotta be careful something right on top Oh, good, it's the packing list. How many times have I cut right through that? So we're looking to for one, two, three, four items, and then anything uh, extra goes to the budget blade box. Oh, this is, wow, oh. Well, this is probably going to be right here. This is worth the, the cost of the entire box right, right there, whatever that is. There's no way that's budget blade box. That's gotta be the prep box. So let's see. Anything else? So we've got four items in the prep box. We've got this awesome guy, the Avispa, in the budget blade box. We will, I, now I've reviewed this before. Um, I've, I've actually talked about it a few times and I've done a whole separate review on it. So I think what we'll do this time is uh, I've compared it to the Ontario Rat 1. We will do a full comparison to this on the Rat 1. Great knife though, but we'll look at this separate later. Let's look at what we've got in the prep box. Four items. So the way the prep box works, it is a flat rate, $100 a month, quality over quantity. Let's look at the packing list. So we've got Microcore Dispenser by Atwood Rope. We've seen this in a battle box before, I believe. Gerber Vice Multi-Tool. Wazoo Firestarter Necklace, and then the, the Kaiser Salient. Oh, yeah, I have reviewed this before. Guys, this is this is one hell of a knife. Um, I would say, so the, these are the MSRP prices, right? Now, you might be able to find this knife for less than $99.99. I don't care what you find it for. In terms of what this knife can do for you, it is worth the price of the entire box. I don't care what you find it for. Uh, Atwood... Is a, is a USA company made in the USA stuff. Um, they make 550 cord type stuff. They make the tactical rope dispenser, which is for full size 550 cord. And I like to call it the turd because it's the TRD. Um, but they make this micro cord dispenser as well. This micro cord is pretty useful stuff. And I use this for uh, a lot of different stuff. I actually use it, and now this is, I did not set this up this way. I had no idea it was in this box. I use it when I build my models, because it's really good for a lot of different scale stuff to make like um, heavyweight cables and stuff like that. You know, you paint it silver um, or whatever color and like makes good scale rope or metal cable or whatever you're doing. But I mean, in terms of accessory cord, when you're, when you're out and about, it really is very, very useful and it's nice and small, so you can do a lot of good stuff with it. It's not like super weight bearing or anything like that, um, but it is, it's very useful to have. And the, look, see, mini turd, haha. <laughs> so the, the mini dispenser here is really good because it comes with a, uh, a little sharp object right there for cutting. And let's see, I mean, so it's very easy, slice, right? Now the problem is you have this, this end, so you do need to, uh, kind of heat it, melt it, or tape it up or whatever, or it will unravel, and I'll take care of that in a minute. But you can throw it in a pack, you can clip it on, 
This is, I mean, you know, you can even run another piece of rope through here and dangle it so that it's always available, you know, so it's like running for you. Uh, I, I kind of scoffed the first uh, TRD I got. I don't know. I like this one better than the full size because I don't like to carry my paracord like that, my 550 cord. But this little mini accessory cord is very accessible when it's when it's like this. And these are refillable as well. So, the, you know, you can put any mini accessory cord on this. It works really well for this size, but they're slightly different sizes. This is a pretty good item to have. Um, $12.99. It's about average for what you're going to find. So that's cool. The Gerber Vice Multi-Tool. I have some little Gerbers. I have the Gerber Dime and some other stuff. So they say the MSRP is $20. Let's take a look at everything it gives you. Okay. Um, not a huge fan of these little tiny multi-tools uh, because I just don't carry them that much. That's the only reason. It's not that, I know that a lot of people find them very useful. They put them on their keys and stuff. I just, I would rather have a full size tool. And that's just, uh, that's my personal preference only. I know that there are a lot of people that really like these little mini tools. So spring loaded, it's cool. Very compact size with a little key ring. You know, if you want to carry it around like that. Mm, let's see. All these tools are in there. It's, you're going to have to break this thing in a little bit for sure so of course oh the bottle opener of course I, I got the bottle opener out first why wouldn't I so bottle opener flathead uh, what do we got here smaller flathead yeah these are in tight you're definitely gonna need to break this in a little bit um, little Phillips head and a file going on right there on the other side you have your little serrated blade a little tiny blade a little tiny chores and well let's see let's put this in and let's test out this little guy right here i'm gonna put that away too not too bad um it needs a little bit of refining a little bit a little bit of help um but I mean, it's a little blade, so you know what are you what are you expecting? Um, just a little bit of work, and then you know, as we opened up, of course, I love uh, I love slash hate when companies say, "Well, you got your needle nose pliers and your regular pliers," so that's two different tools, and then wire cutters. And I actually have something here that is a great test. This is uh, 18 gauge armature wire for doing whatever projects you want but let's see I'm sorry 20 gauge armature wire yeah nice little snip um, don't see any real problem with the teeth there okay so not exactly for me but I'm sure Aiden would love this and I'm sure it does you know there there's a time and a place for this it's just not my style that's all um, I you know I routinely carry a full-size multi-tool around but there's that. Now the Wazoo Firestarter Necklace. Look, I'm thrilled when we have something from Wazoo and it's not a bandana. So it's already a win right there. Let's see what we've got. Is that ceramic? It is a ceramic scraper. I have never seen a ceramic scraper. That's pretty cool. I, I, I'm so curious to see how that's going to work. You know what? Let's... uh. Let's get our little knife out right here and use it right away. Very nice, very good, okay. So we've got 550 fire cord. If you're not familiar with what that is, inside one of the filaments, there's a like a, a fire tinder cord that you can fluff up and use it to catch to catch fire, to start a fire. So it's it's like a regular 550, right? And the nylon inner filaments, and one of them um, is catches fire very easily. So, you know, you can, uh, if you have other stuff to, to catch on fire, great. If not, you can use the inner cord here. And this is probably 
an example of it. Um, oh yeah, it is, look, see? It says it right there, fire cord tinder. I am not at all in a position to start a fire right now. Actually, you know what? Let's live dangerously. I kind of am. I'm being a terrible example of how to do all things. So you, you take the inner cord and you, you know, you, you expose the threads, right, so that they can catch and you want those fibers out there a little bit. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done so far today. And let's just see how this works with a ceramic scraper. And this is kind of a short little thing here, but maybe we use the side. There we go. That makes a spark. It's awkward to use such a short, you know, doing it in the bowl is what's, is what's giving me a problem because I can't get as close to the fire starting material as I'd like. But it does start a nice spark. It makes a nice spark. So this is not gonna work. I thought maybe I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to burn down my workbench. Okay, I had a terrible idea. I followed through with it. I'm sorry, but it does make a pretty good spark, right? And I think this is high enough to where it won't light anything on fire. Yeah, I'm. I'm surprised that ceramic works so well. This is uh, pretty good. So, you know, number one, uh, I, I never had faith that such a small ferro rod would work so well. I never knew that ceramic would work so well. And um, the fire cord is pretty good to have too. So I'm suitably impressed that I think this is a pretty good little thing to have. Uh, $24, well, I'm not so sure about the price. You might be able to put something together for less, but it's a good product, it works. You know, that's the important part. And I promise you that this that this uh, fire tinder stuff, it does work. I've seen, I've, I've messed with fire cord before uh, it's, I've used it on the channel. It works. Um, and I'm just rushing through this because I want to get to this knife right here. Now, I have a full video review on this knife, and there'll be a link to it in the video description so you can check it out. This is an amazing knife. Let's try to get that on there. Okay. I got this off of Mass Drop originally, or Drop now. I don't know why they changed the name. Um, and I got a really good deal on it. But the Salient is a great fixed blade knife. Uh, I'm thrilled that it's in here. Oh, cool. The other one I got was green. So it comes in uh, this tan color or OD green G10. I'm not going to do a full review. I'm going to show it to you now, but it is comfortable. It has a nice powder coat on it. I'm not a big fan of powder coat. I'd, I'd rather have uh, like just Cerakote or something, but it's a very comfortable knife. It's a great in the field knife. Um, yeah, I mean, it's big. I think I made my Crocodile Dundee joke when I did the other video. So if you want to see the full review, go ahead and, and check out the, uh, the review video that I'll post the link to. But this is a really good knife. Uh, it feels good, 1095 carbon steel, really well done G10 scales. Um, little, it, it, it's a relatively thin blade, um, but it's, you know, full tang, but a little relatively thin blade as a, a big old full tang field knife goes. But man, it just, it, it did really, really well in the unboxing and review that we did. Uh, Kydex sheath, you know, you can switch around the belt loop for what you want, or you can attach a tech lock to, to uh, carry however you want. Holds really, really well. Good retention. Easy in and out. Very, very nice looking knife. Comes super sharp out of the package. Well, the other one did. Well, this is embarrassing. Okay, listen. That's what happens. Sometimes things are great, sometimes they're not. The other one I, I had was super razor sharp right out of the package. Um, that's working better. 
go figure. I don't know. Uh, but it is just an it's a, it's a, I loved it. I loved the knife. I loved working with it. I love testing it, and I'm thrilled to have another one um, that I can give away one day, give away to a friend, pass on to Aiden when he's old enough for it or something. It is just, it's a chopper. It is made to chop and hack its way through whatever. So this is an amazing knife. Uh, this is worth the whole price of the box to me, to me anyway. Um, this is one of Kaiser's best fixed blade knives. It, it really is. Awesome. So great, great box uh, from PMP this month. What do you guys think? Uh, we got a 30% uh, a off code from mountainhouse.com, by the way, that you can use. Total retail value of the entire box, $156.98, so not bad for a box you're paying $100 for. That's why I don't mind paying for this box every month. Um, you know, it's just, it's, again, quality over quantity. You don't get a lot, you don't get any filler items, everything's useful. Uh, he curates you know every item so that it's a good quality item that it's got good use out in the field that it it it's a good it's a good box it really is a good box when people ask me you know what's a good box to spend money on i ask them like what's your price range and what are you looking for you're looking for you know fancy snazzy stuff you're looking for good stuff that works and when they say i don't have a whole lot of money but i want good stuff that works i usually say look into the prep box there's only been one or two boxes where i really haven't been just thrilled with what comes in it. Um, it. So, you know, you might not be thrilled with every single item, but overall, I feel like the value is is always there in this box. Um, always there. So what do you guys think? Cool items, like it, don't like it, um, stuff that you would use, stuff you wouldn't use. I'm telling you this, uh, definitely check out the video on the Kaiser Salient, because this is one hell of a good field knife. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, great choice, Jason. Awesome. Love this knife. Definitely check out the review on that. So, um, ready to hear your opinions, guys. Uh, what you liked. Would, and, and I always say this in every video. Uh, Jason, the proprietor of uh, PMP, Poor Men's Preparing, he reads comments, he responds to comments, he takes criticism. Um, you know, he takes suggestions. So honestly, if there's something that you really did like, let him know. If there's something you don't like, something, suggestions you have, he, he's here for you guys. He's here for, for the customers. You know, that's what he runs this business for, to provide useful service and, you know, uh, make a living, but to, to provide. So let him know what you think. All right, guys. Well, short and sweet just kind of like this box. You guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you and I will be back again real soon.